Hello! In this lesson, I'm going to describe what a relational database is and what some of the advantages and limitations are of a relational database. So let's go ahead and get started. Relational database is a system built for data storage and retrieval that's based on the relational model. In the relational model, data is organized into a series of tables with rows and columns of data. Each row in a table is uniquely identified by a primary key. In addition, a row can contain a number of columns similar to the typical design of a spreadsheet row. Each of these columns has a unique data type, such as an integer, date, or string. Tables are then related to each other by establishing relationships using foreign keys. If you look at the following example, this is a design of a very simple database with two tables that are related to each other. This diagram is called an Entity Relationship Diagram and is used by database designers to develop and document these types of systems. In this example, there is a base table called a Customer that contains the customer name and address. In addition, there is an Order table that contains order information for various customers. The diagram indicates that there is a one-to-many relationship between the customer and the order. That is, one customer can have many orders. ER diagrams allow designers to design and document complex database designs and show the relationship between tables. A large database may contain hundreds of tables with many complex relationships. The term relational database was invented by E.F. Codd while working at IBM in 1970. Codd developed much of the underlying theory of how a relational database would function. He developed the relational model that describes how databases are to be composed of entities, and relationships, and the basic theory of how to query data from these systems using the relational model. In 1979, Oracle delivered the first commercial relational database system. Their business grew quickly, and today Oracle is one of the largest software companies in the world, and the Oracle database is still one of the market leaders. Other relational databases quickly followed, and other vendors um, delivered products, including products from IBM and Microsoft. So what are some of the advantages of relational databases? Relational databases have many advantages. One of the primary advantages is they've been around for quite some time and they represent a stable, well-known technology. Database management is part of a routine computer science curriculum and finding skilled programmers that understand database design and implementation is not difficult to find. Another major advantage is most commercial database management systems generally include a well-defined, robust security model. Almost all software systems require extensive security systems, and relational databases offer these as an out-of-the-box configuration item. In addition to these features, relational database systems are designed to efficiently store and eliminate data redundancies. This is part of the normalization process that COD developed to design relational databases. This allows software developers to design complex systems based on these designs. In addition, commercial database management systems can scale to handle massive amounts of data. Many of today's data-driven websites have relational databases as back-end systems to store and process transactions as they come in over the web. Another major advantage of these systems is they provide very fast ret retrieval times even if the, the database is very large. So, what are some of the disadvantages of relational databases? With all the advanced features that most commercial database systems offer, they can become quite expensive to buy and deploy. Although there are many open source relational database systems, large corporations still depend on commercial software from leading vendors such as Oracle, Microsoft, and IBM. As these systems scale up, the software licensing and support costs can become quite expensive. In addition to the licensing costs, the design of large-scale databases can be expensive as well. If a large system consists of hundreds or even thousands of tables, this can be a long and expensive process to design and maintain such a system. Skilled database designers and database administrators command high salaries in today's market, so a long process of design and maintenance will be an expensive project for most organizations. Another problem with the design of most software systems today is they are based on the relational model is that they can be difficult once they're in production. Oftentimes in large systems it can be expensive and difficult to add even a single column to an existing table. However, even with these limitations, relational databases still dominate the landscape of large-scale storage systems for software applications. 
Other technologies are also on the market, such as object-oriented database, databases and NoSQL databases. But until these technologies mature, relational databases will continue to dominate the market. So at the heart of relational databases is SQL, or Structured Query Language. Structured Query Language is a basic language that's used uh, to define the language and processing for relational databases. SQL provides a way to design tables and relationships in a complete data definition language as well. In addition, SQL also provides a data manipulation, or DML, to allow programmers to insert data, delete data, and query the system for results. SQL has evolved over the years to become a robust programming language. In fact, there's an ISO and ANSI standard versions of SQL that are in industry today. These designs are all based on a technique called normalization. Normalization is the process used to design relational databases. The process was developed by COD and is a systematic way to decompose the design of the data into corresponding tables and relationships. Each step of this process is used to develop a relational model that accurately describes a system being modeled and remove redundancies in the data and make it consistent. The steps of normalization are beyond the scope of this book, but I'll be covering it in more detail as I'm writing a database management systems uh, material. For this introductory material, the important point to remember is normalization is the defined process that database designers use to develop and refine relational models for production database systems. So as far as major vendors in the systems of, of relational databases, there are more and more offerings every day, but the, the dominant players in today's market are Oracle, Microsoft, and IBM, which represent really the leading contenders in the market today. In addition, these vendors also offer cloud-based versions of their databases to offer customers options to lower operating cost and more flexibility. The market will continue to evolve as this technology changes and cloud-based systems continue to mature. In summary, relational databases remain a large and important part of inf the information technology business. Many companies will continue to design and operate relational databases as key parts of their IT infrastructure. Relational databases will continue to evolve as the market changes and more and more companies move to cloud-based technologies. Well, that concludes this lesson on relational databases. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next lesson.